Hi guys, Charlie Tango One coming at you with a, another video uh, about the stoves. <coughs> this morning um, I was watching a, a few videos and I saw one very, very similar to this, um, which I, I, I got ooh, a year or two back now. And uh, there's a lady local to us, she was, um, she does a, a scouts thing. And um, she was uh, looking at replacing a stove, so um, I said, "All right, okay." So what I done was um, I virtually swapped in supporting the scouts group and etc. So she says it's it's not really uh, what what we want. I, I need I've got to upgrade or something. So anyway, uh, long story short, short, sorted that one out. So I said, well, let's have your old stove, bring it in, let's have a look at it, and uh, and we'll see where we go from there. So here it is. They're made in Germany. They're called a, a, um, a term sport. Um, and they do fluctuate in um, design a little bit, actually. So... I'll put that down here now you've seen that. It's a gravity fed stove. And uh oh, we've got to get it in shot, haven't we? It's a gravity fed stove and um it uh runs on mess. So there it is, term sport. We'll turn it round here this way so you can see it. This part here from here to here, that's the tank. Oh, itchy nose. And there's the uh, burner mechanism, etc. And this is the throttle here on the side. And um, it's a nice little piece of kit, actually. I, I didn't know, excuse me, look at that. <laughs> itchy nose. I didn't know whether to clean it up because the tube in here is all brass. Um, I didn't know where to clean it up and try and spray paint it in the same colours um, so obviously to keep that sort of or leave it authentic so I thought well no I'll leave it authentic and then then I'll decide afterwards um, if I want to tidy it up <laughs> so I stripped it down when I first got it like you know every three is stripped down um, these uh, got a nice brown tarnish on them, these uh, the pot stands. So, I thought what I'd do is I'll, uh, ooh, let's take the throttle off. You take that off by the top here. It leaves you with another uh, valve there. Um, but you have got a hole in the top, as you can see. But um, for this to go in, but that's your throttle stick and um, well she goes on there like that I'm going to take this cloth out just in case You've got to play safe haven't you really let me see that I don't know why that oh could have turned it upside down didn't I right thinking aloud here I know which is the best way to do this, actually. I think I'll do it like this first, and then you can, you can see for yourselves. Um, there's a screw on the end here for, for if you want to uh, clean up this rod. Um, it jets by this valve. As I say, gravity fed. Um, and, look at this. You've got all your say it's been um, laminated. Uh, explaining all, all the uh, all about the stove. And uh, part numbers, what they are, Instruc instructions. We're, we're, uh, where are we? We're somewhere down the bottom here. We're down here somewhere. 
as I say the, the lamination has gone a bit yellow now but it's uh, it's still it's still laminated in in there so you know um I say it's quite it's quite old like you know but they, they use this it's pretty adequate for the scouts at the time so you just open pop stands like that um and away we go so without further ado I'm going to put some uh, I've got a dobber here somewhere haven't I here here I'm going to put some uh, some mess in there now to do that all you have to do is unscrew the uh, throttle and uh, hey presto uh, sod's law I'm going to put a spanner under there because my um, bench isn't straight, isn't flat, uh, slightly, oh that's better, slightly on angle. Right, then you shut it off, it's now, there's an uh, indentation underneath the burner um, that actually uh, it, it, you let it fill up on there. And then, then what we do is we uh, just ignite that. <sighs> and uh, just let it burn down. It warms warms up the tube. It runs across the burner. Um, there's a lot of people, as you know, already know that. But, hey, that's just me, isn't it? And um, I say I'm gonna. Um, I think I'll uh, I'll sell this to any YouTubers that, that might be interested in it. Um, and uh, um, if not, well, I'll put it. I'll put it on eBay. It's um, I say it's just another little stove that I'm, I was helping someone out on. Um, but. Uh, I didn't have intentions of using it for myself, but uh, hey, you guys, I know there's a lot of you guys out there. That, ooh, let's get some. Oh, yeah, she's fired up already. Just open the valve and away she goes. Um, that, that like, like to collect these stoves. Let's turn the light out just so as you can see. I think it's a beautiful little flame that's on them. Yeah, I was going to prime that again, but I don't think it needs it. Turn it down quite low, and uh, you don't have to turn it far to bring it on full, full blast. But right, slightly yellowing bit there, like, but well, that's very, very little in comparison to uh, to what some of them are. So, as I say, it's a gravity-fed stove, and uh, oh, excuse me, sniffing. <laughs> But I think, I think it's a lovely little stove. Let, let's turn it off. You know, so there you have it. Oh. Put the cap back on. I'll put some uh, fibre washers on there just to be doubly safe. I'll let it out later on. I'll have to let it cool down now. But, you know. There it is, in all its little glory. It's got a little uh, stand here at the back. What it is, you stand that down like there to keep it level. You put it down there, it's, uh, it goes up like that. That's the idea of it, because it, this is to counterbalance the weight that's in the um, oh, tank. So, I should just empty this out when that's cooled down. Not going to do it at the moment. Too warm. <coughs> so there it is. Um, let's say this is easy to get out. I did take it out. Two little tiny screws here hold this tube in, <coughs> and then the whole assembly comes out. So um, and then I you can clean up all these bars, of which I'll probably do anyway. But there you go. It's uh. Hot, hot, hot. Yes, of course it is. 
Um, I think it's a lovely little stone. There you go. All that you packed away. Holds down here. Little snapshot, that's that. There we go. So if there is anyone out there that's interested in that, I know you make me an offer. It's, um, as I say, it's a, it's a very old stove, but it works fine. Um, gravity fed, and uh, well, there's no more to be said about it really. Either you want something like that, that would be ideal. Let's lift that up. I've got the uh, fluid coming out there because I've got it down. That's the only thing. You've got to empty these out before you um, before you start travelling uh, because there's there's no way you can stop this uh, this fuel coming out of here. Ooh, let's uh, just wipe that. Yeah, there's no way you can stop that coming out of there. Um, unless you've got a that seal in there, that seal in there, you need to put a little seal on there that are going into that. Um, because all the while you've got these on, let's, let's, I'm just going to try something here. I'll take these two little um, fibre washers off and see if that will seal. If that is the case. You won't need the fibre washers. So, here we go, A plus O, let's try it. Well, there you go, problem solved and answered. Don't need these fibre washers, so I'll just put them up there. And, as I say, if there is two people out there that want, that want some of these little um, tiny uh, Right, little tiny um, well done uh, pipits. Just give me a bow. I should have um, I should put I should put it on the the, the top near the heading of this uh, this stove when I put put it up on YouTube. And uh, you know, hey, take a look, see what you think. You might you might like it. Come comes with this these instructions. Thermosport sport it is. Um. And uh, who knows? I'm not going to have it on anymore because I tend to do that, don't I? To find something to talk about. I don't know why, but I, I just do. Anyway, there it is, all in its glory. <laughs> uh, back here, actually. <laughs> all in its glory. So, um, hope you like it. It's only a short video, but as I say, I might, I might just take this, strip this down and, and clean this all up so it looks a nice bit posher. Um, I should put, I, if need be, I'll spray that black again. Um, it's only these two little screws at the bottom here. Take them out and the whole assembly comes out. Surprising. <coughs> so, there you go. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Charlie Tango, sign up.